a 10-year unveiled understanding the phrase. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the world of idiomatic expressions and we'll unravel the meaning behind the phrase a 10-year. If you've ever been puzzled by this expression, you're in the right place. When someone says that a person has a tin ear, it doesn't mean that their ear is made of tin or any other metal. In the English language, a tin ear is an idiomatic expression. So, what does it mean? Having a tin ear means that someone has difficulty discerning subtleties in musical pitch or tone. In other words, they might not be able to distinguish between different musical notes or they might not appreciate the nuances in a piece of music. To understand this phrase better, let's look at how it's used in sentences. 1. Despite his passion for music, he has a tin ear and can't carry a tune. 2. She sings beautifully, but when it comes to recognizing the off notes in a song, she has a tin ear. 3. I've always had a tin ear, so I stick to playing the drums. From these examples, you can see that having a tin ear is not about a physical limitation, but rather an inability to perceive or appreciate certain musical aspects. While the phrase is most commonly associated with music, it can also be used more broadly to indicate a lack of sensitivity or appreciation for nuances in other areas, like language or emotions. For instance, 1. Even though he's a native speaker, he has a tin ear for poetry. 2. She's a brilliant scientist, but when it comes to understanding people's feelings, she seems to have a tin ear. In these examples, a tin ear describes someone's inability to grasp subtleties or nuances in language or emotional expressions. So, there you have it. The phrase, a tin ear, is not about metal ears, but about a person's ability, or rather, inability, to perceive subtleties, especially in music. Remember, Idiomatic expressions like this one can add color and depth to your conversations. We hope this video has shed light on this particular phrase, and we encourage you to embrace the beauty of the English language with all its quirky idioms. Happy learning!